Man, ever shall destroy my faith, for I repent and now shall be. Oh God, my Lord, and now again, oh help me and I'll leave my sin. For I repent and now shall be. From evil I return to thee. What is the evil of the Lord? Greetings, sir, of this may concern. Christian Aguilar here, back with another movie review. I'm a day late, I know, but I had some personal things to take care of yesterday, so my whole day three was chock full of things I had to take care of. But, day four, today I'll try to bring you two reviews in one. If not, I will keep up and I will be more organized. But this is day three, coming to you on October 4th, so try not to get confused. By the way, Excuse my armless glasses. I, uh, low accident happened. New glasses are coming in, and, um, this won't be too much of a distraction for any further. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. So, today's movie I will be reviewing is 2015's The Witch, written and directed by Robert Eggers. The film stars Anya Taylor Joy, Ralph Innocent, and Kate Dickey as the mother, father, and daughter of the family. Those siblings, the younger siblings, I'll get into a little later. Now, this film is set in the 1600s, I believe. I don't know if it's late or early 1600s, but it's set in the 1600s, uh, New England, and it is about this pilgrim, this pilgrimage family that leaves their little society in order to make um, a better living out on their own. The father doesn't agree with the politics and um, the ideologies of the civilization that they were a part of, so he decides to go out with his family on their own to see if they could fend for themselves out in the wilderness. Thus begins the horrors that awaits them out in the woods. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, be warned, this is a slow burner of a film. The horrors are more how should I say, marinated in this film, if that makes any sense. And when you watch this film, the horrors will be marinated into you. This is one thing I admire about this film, is that it's a slow burn film. This is all about atmosphere and tone. This is how this film will get you. Usually when it comes to horror films, everyone just tosses in jump scares left and right. Like literally, they make the dialogue low as hell, <laughs> so people will have to turn up the volume, and then when scary things happen, like a jump scare, that audio level is cranked all the way up, so it can really get you. And that's, I, I feel like that's just a recurring theme over and over and over again in horror films. It gets tiring, and it's just an old tactic that I feel a lot of people that love horror movies uh, we'll see over time like that whole dun it's like it's gonna be over the top loud because it's gonna get you um, and that is not the case in the witch the witch again takes the atmosphere and tone and lets that ho deliver the horrors excuse any sounds from above it's an old house creaky floors so I do apologize for that anyway with the witch um, it's the atmosphere and tone that really sets in the horror and the performances my lord the performances in this movie are top notch from Anya Taylor Joy to 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 Ralph uh, Innocent I mean the, all of them every single there is not a weak performance in this film and that <laughs> that right there is worth the watch if you have not seen this be warned that it's a slow burn so if you're expecting any like jump scares or to see the monster left and right or in this case the witch left and right in this film don't expect that too much this is a clever film about the struggle of keeping the family together surviving out in the wilderness and keeping one's faith throughout it all. So when it comes to uh, the, the children's performances, the younger siblings, um, especially Harvey Scrimshaw, who plays uh, the younger brother, uh, Caleb. And um, there's a part where uh, he has this entire monologue to do. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but there's this entire monologue where the kid's laying down and they, they believe the kid to be sick. And um, there's this whole monologue that the, ki that, that, that the son, Caleb, gives. And my lord, that, for a child actor, to nail that monologue, <sighs> that was awesome. Like, that literally terrified me because of how good that kid was. Like, like it's unbelievable how good these children are in this, in this film. Um... That whole little monologue scene where he's like laying up, then he sits up from laying down, is literally one of the highlights of this film. Acting wise, it's 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 brilliant. This performance from this kid is awesome, along with the two younger 
siblings, um, Mercy, and I believe the other one's name is uh, Jonas or something like that. Yeah, Mercy and Jonas. They're the, they're the two uh, younger kids running around and stuff. And even them, even they give excellent performances as annoying little brats because because uh, that's all they are. You know, they're young, they're they're kids, they're bored. You know, they're, they're out in this wilderness. They're away from other people, other kids. So that all they have is themselves. And while the two older siblings, you know, Anya Taylor Joy and Harvey Scrimshaw's characters. They are tasked with the chores and everything, so there's little, to, there's like little to no time for play. And they don't even know what play is anymore. They're like technically not kids anymore. They're going into their adulthood. They have to know how to hunt. They have to know how to clean. They have to know how to do all this farm work. You know, it's 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 a struggle. It's an adjustment period. And Anya Taylor Joy's character Thomason does not like this adjustment period one bit. You know, none of them do, you know, but the father tries to make the best of it. He even tells them this wilderness will not conquer us. Uh, I'm sorry, consume us. Um, and it's just cleverly written, really well directed and well performed. Because, again, I said it before, there is not a weak performance in this movie. And it's really, really good. I mean, and it's 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 interesting because this movie didn't scare me on the first watch. It really had me intrigued. And one thing you will need for this film is subtitles because the ha the accents in this movie are so damn heavy. And on top of that, they have this old uh, dialect, the way they're speaking English. It's like an old... Um, it's like an old ancient way of speaking English. It's like you have to dissect what the hell they're saying or what they're talking about just a little bit, you know? And so just to know that writer and director Robert Eggers wrote the script with that language in mind that is just awesome writing like i can it's it's hard to write regular modern day dialogue to feel fluent you know like if you're sitting in front of your laptop or a typewriter you know you get the blank page in front of you it's hard because all you it's just you in a room no one else to feedback off of unless you're in a writer's room if you have that privilege but if you're just sitting there like a like a film student and you know you're writing a script and you're writing dialogue that is hard to do. Even modern dialogue is hard to do, you know, to make it fluid and make it flow. So to know that this dude, Robert Eggers, wrote the script like this is freaking awesome, man. Like, this is, I know his filmography as well. This is his first feature-length film. Everything before this was like little shorts. Um, this was his first film he did. I absolutely adored it. And I watched this. I remember the second time I watched it. I finally got why it was horror. As I explained before, it's the tone, it's the atmosphere that scares you. They actually used a goat for the filming of this movie, which right there is like freaking awesome because I'm all for practical effects and the uses of actual, you know, animals in a safe environment, but it, for the authenticity of the film, I'm I'm all for that, you know. So to know that they actually used the goat it's pretty freaking cool. And on top of that, the goat, it was kind of dangerous on set. I heard, I think, um, the, the actor that played the father, um, he, I think he had to go to the hospital because of an incident that uh, he was he was uh, got caught up in while he was wrestling Black Phillip. So that added to the intensity that this film obviously clearly demonstrates. And if you have not seen The Witch, I highly recommend to watch it. It's just awesome. It's one of my favorite horror movies by far. Robert Eggers' second film, The Lighthouse, just as masterful. This director knows how to get masterful performances out of actors, and that is something I respect highly. And that makes Robert Eggers one of my, if not favorite, director. Especially in modern time. Like in modern horror, he is the best director for horror. I don't want him to stop doing horror movies. Keep doing horror movies, all right? It's just awesome. Please watch it. This is awesome. Great one for spooky season, and that's why I chose it to be on day three. The Witch, written and directed by Robert Eggers. See it if you have not. It's on Hulu. I know, I think, I think it's currently on Hulu right now, but I do own the Blu-ray. Bam, look at that. I have the movie. I mean, I don't own movies that I don't enjoy watching, and this is on my shelf. So if you have not seen it, go out, buy it, support it, watch it on Hulu. Your time will not be wasted. You will have a blast. So when it comes to the movie The Witch, let's see what I give it. My rating system here. I'm going to give The Witch a 10 out of 10. Yes, I know. Another 10 out of 10. Don't worry. Some bad reviews will be coming. I give it a 10 out of 10 because masterful writing, masterful performances, great direction. This 
it's not a it's not your typical horror film. This this horror film is one of a kind. It, it scares you in a most subtle way, and it's just awesome. So thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. I will be cramming probably two videos in one day to make up for me being behind. I apologize. Uh, personal things to take care of. You know how it is. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.